What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome back to Legend Dino Bite Size PvP where we're doing a couple of games, we're going for a couple of wins and we're going to see what happens, man. Now I've got a pretty beefed up team compared to the last episode, so we're going to see what goes down. And yes, uh, you're not going to see me stop following the tips from yesterday's guide, but enough plugging, man, enough plugging. Let's mess this fool up. Now we do have a little bit of a dis- I mean a major disadvantage in this fight as far as XP goes. I'm kind of unconcerned. I'm expecting him to charge as well, so I'm just going to go ahead and charge. Um, now I'm kind of expecting him to go ahead and use another force skill because that's what he's been doing Yeah, he's been playing obvious. So we're gonna play around the fact that he is playing obvious Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know what? Uh, this is a little bit of a weird situation. We have quick charge next turn Let's go ahead and strong hit him while we have a chance. Let's go ahead and make that happen Let's go ahead and insta heal as a matter of fact make him think he's got something on us Let's go ahead and pop this. He's probably gonna heal as well. He did heal as well. He hit us with thorn tail I'm unconcerned. We already saw it's not gonna it did kill. I think it did more damage that time Didn't it am I losing my mind doesn't matter man one bad play does not a loss make we're going to surprise him with this Go ahead and hit him out. He's gonna do nothing. He quick charged man. He quick charged. He's playing well He's playing well. Uh, we're not concerned about him playing well though. Uh, he does have a four mana right now so i'm expecting him to use another strong skill it's the only thing he's been doing and we learned him already so we're gonna play around that we're actually gonna end up coming back in this one uh pretty heavily so now we're in a weird position where we may as well start stacking our mana there's no point countering i don't like basic attacking almost ever so we're gonna go ahead and do this now we're gonna counter when it makes sense to he's gonna strong attack so the defense doesn't matter but we still got that heavy hit off and now we can do a regular attack get the kill all that we're on to the next uh we're on to the next unit we can definitely hit him with a frozen tusk on this turn and we'll still be okay so that's what we're gonna do he's gonna strong attack us good turn out of him we still got good damage off we're on our last unit no big deal uh what we're gonna do now we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and charge soul bro charge soul and make this dude feel bad about his life instantly um we're gonna fire claw he's probably gonna strong attack he's been showing that's what he really likes to do he did not and he's gonna end up dying for it there's almost nothing i can do to avoid taking this hit like i don't know what i can do to avoid the hit at all so we're just gonna hit him we're just gonna hit him he's gonna curse us as a matter of fact not gonna do as much damage as he would like to what's this debuff 25 percent for <laughs> oh my god we got a good chance we're just gonna miss our next couple of skills uh he did not strong attack this time which is actually good for me very good for me we're gonna go ahead and uh, merge this out uh let's go ahead and drop the big evade because he's dropping a big skill right now and there it is right there we evade it all that uh, let's see what we got going on. Let's go ahead and uh, charge up. No, a big deal. Uh, he's back at his four, where he really likes to be at. And I don't really have anything to, like, do anything with off of it. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna charge up, man. He's gonna strong attack instead of using a four skill, which is very good for me. We're gonna go ahead and four skill out this time. He's gonna have to charge, probably. He doesn't really have a whole lot of options unless he drops the evade. He might drop the evade. There it is, right there. No big deal. Well played. That was the first time he's ever actually evaded. So, you know, good for him, man. Good for him. Let's go ahead and charge up. We still have the energy advantage heavily, so we still get to say what happens next. We're going to go ahead and uh, strong attack while he charges. No big deal. Now he's going to be in desperation mode dramatically, and honestly, I'm expecting him to do something crazy. We're going to go ahead and evade. No big deal, bro. Our heals are going to come off at the exact same time if we make it that far, so we got to keep that in mind. We're exactly on par energy-wise. Um, how do I make this happen? right now how do i make this happen i think i charge i think i charge he charges as well we're both about to heal in a second so i gotta do some big damage to him before he does he knows he has to do the exact same thing we'll see how much damage this does it almost killed bro it almost killed good for him it didn't kill though it did it so we're gonna go ahead and do this we're gonna go ahead and do this we're both gonna heal up this turn not even a big deal there's his heal right there uh and we both charged as well makes sense neither of us had any mana now we got to worry about something bro we got to worry about something um we could just drop the defend right now and i think that's what we're gonna do he's gonna gun for a little bit of damage he did gun for a little bit of damage he used too much of uh, mana that turn than he really should have we're gonna defend again all he can really do is a strong attack he decided to counter now he has no mana left and we're actually gonna fire claw him out and this is all she wrote for this man right here that's lethal that's game we're up against it bro but what a heck of a first match let's go to the next one 
here we go here we go 50 68 and 40 oh my goodness look how beautiful this man's team is this is gonna be a fun fight man uh so this is a good time as any to say uh i am going to be doing uh, a couple of egg openings more egg openings than the last pvp video and we did get the guy you're seeing on screen in the last video so what do i want to do here what do i want to do here i don't want to counter that's a huge investment man that's a huge investment let's charge soul and see what he does he's probably gonna drop a defensive skill at this point he did water cannon but he was gonna do it anyways we were gonna take the damage anyways let's go ahead and uh, petrify out when he has no chance to do anything about it and hit him even harder than he hit us honestly like judging what he was gonna do was the best thing i could have done there because i could have just wasted a big skill he could have used like just an evade and just like made a comeback instantly so i'm glad we did what we did we're gonna go ahead and uh, strong attack and get him killed easy peasy this is going well so far but we're on to the next man and this is actually his highest leveled unit so we'll see man i mean that last one that was an even fight now we're up against it suddenly uh we're actually gonna do this and we're gonna charge up he's gonna charge up as well which is perfect for me we're gonna drop our heal which is gonna be annoying for him um i'm expecting him to use a four cost honestly but let's just roar out anyways just in case he doesn't man he didn't he used a three cost which means we're gonna get rid of the rest of his energy and suddenly we have the even ground even though he was just ahead of us now we're gonna do something dirty we're gonna quick charge out of nowhere we're gonna preemptive strike on him he's not gonna do anything about it and he's gonna get hit very hard right now oh my goodness he did not take my leader skills into account what is wrong with this man uh by the way guys a lot of people have been asking me to drop a guide on uh progression now, i'm not gonna do that and let me tell you why it's this simple do hard one do hard one do you hear me do you hear the words coming out of my mouth do hard one hard dash one the, the that level do that over and over and over and over until you can do hard dash two and then etc 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 and you too will be okay he's probably gonna quick charge i should have smooth skinned i really should have smooth skinned there it is right there i messed up uh we're gonna take a massive hit right now for no reason we shouldn't have done that uh we we should not be in the position we're in all of a sudden we're still gonna win but we could be in a much better spot right now if we hadn't done what we just did he's gonna evade very smart of him but we're still ahead in energy so i'm not too concerned at all um honestly at this point the best thing i can do for myself i'm not expecting him to do anything crazy am i i'm not but let's just smooth skin just in case he does he did he went for the cheeky kill bro he thought i was gonna do something that i almost did which was smart but it didn't work out for him did it and now i get the strong attack off and that's all she wrote for him i'm glad i second guessed that turn i'm really glad i second guessed that turn he's probably gonna strong attack right here uh just in case he didn't i wanted to energy up but there was nothing i could do even if he did dropping a defend does not help you against a strong attack it does ignore defense so there was nothing i could have done anyways i just went for the mana gain uh just in case he didn't strong attack he did which was smart of him now we're on our last dino so it actually is more dire than it appears right now we're gonna drop a defend he's gonna roar so all of our energy is about to be gone right now all of it that is disturbing but we can still energy up <clears throat> we're only down by one uh so well let's see what happens man let's see what happens let's go ahead and defend hopefully he uses his energy and doesn't do some kind of cheeky like okay he's strong attacked didn't do enough damage for him uh he could evade right now though he could evade in case he evades we're only going to use three energy save a little energy in case it comes out and he did not and that was beautiful next fight all right here we go 50 50 and 67 people really like this guy people are lucking out getting that dude he is sick looking like he is sick looking absolutely beautiful that's like my second most wanted i don't know man the giant narwhal man is pretty beautiful so what's this guy gonna rock out with right now what's he gonna rock out with do we test the waters one more time is that what we're doing let's attack he defended okay well it wasn't the best turn he could have had now he thinks i'm going to be playing super conservatively we're going to drop our roar and we're going to get massive damage off and we're going to drop his energy by two so he's been playing conservatively he's not gonna be able to do anything with his conservative play out of nowhere now he has to charge instead of press the advantage he was looking for and now we're in the best position possible we're going to drop a defend he's going to scratch no big deal we have our heal available to us he has two heal leader skills which is a very a bad look right now and we're going to preempt a strike before he even has a chance to attack we're gonna hit him and see how much damage it does not enough damage not enough but he does he, he only used a basic attack he's using too many basic attacks i'll level with you guys uh he's using too many basic attacks 
Um, there's not a whole lot of reason for it either. We're going to use this while we have the advantage. Get the strong strike off. He's going to heal over time, so I'm glad we chose to do damage this turn. And we have a lot of energy at our disposal. And now we got to look towards what we want to do next. I'm looking towards this roar, man. I'm looking towards the roar. He's going to defend. Uh, it is going to get rid of the rest of his energy. So he's still going to be in just as of a bad a position as he was. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful trade. Let's go ahead and just open up with this charge soul. He's going to get another basic attack off. Uh, that was less of a waste of time because honestly, like, he dies this turn anyways. Um, what do I do, though? What do I do? What do I do? Um, mm, let's just, uh, let's basic attack this time. Let's basic attack this time. Let's get another basic attack off next turn, if at all possible. If not at all possible, uh, I don't really know at this point, man. Let's just charge soul. And we're in a worse spot. All of his healing is actually paying out for it. He ended up killing us first. That, that was just the, uh, the story of sustain. That was beautiful, man. That was beautiful. Let's go ahead and do this. He decided to defend when I was definitely going to charge soul. Now we're going to go ahead and drop this when he's impatient, and that's... Man, his healing is, like, actually obnoxious. Like, he should not be alive right now. We're gonna drop a basic attack on him. He's gonna defend. That's that. But, man, that was beautiful play. Even though I don't like what he was doing with the basic attacks, his sustain was the story there. His sustain was massive. And it really did come in clutch for him. The, the way, the, how defensively he was playing came in very clutch for him. Now we have a decision to make. And my decision is to charge soul. Let's stack our bread for a second. Um, let's go ahead and strong attack while he defends because all he does is drop defense to save mana So we're gonna do that now. He's in a position where he has four mana. We're gonna drop our smooth skin And I don't think he's gonna even see it coming He didn't see it coming and we just completely mitigated everything he wanted to do that turn now We're gonna charge soul. We're gonna have a four skill available to us. He is not we're gonna frozen tusk out He's gonna use his defend like he's been doing he, he countered that time he countered that time better, but still not good uh, let's go ahead and charge soul up. He's going to basic attack. It's going to do good damage. It's going to do good damage. I'm not going to sleep on it there. But this is going to do better damage. And honestly, this is what he should have been using. So, uh, yeah, what's he going to do about this next turn, right? What's he going to do? Uh, we are in a poor position in the fact that, like, we don't have anything to do besides charge soul. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh... So, you know, it is what it is, but we did trade, so we're just going to basic attack him to death. Uh, we're going to go into the next fight, and now we have to take this man out with this man, which is going to be the goofiest thing I've ever seen, but it is going to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and merge out and then do our charge soul. Get everything available to us. He's going to strong attack right off the bat. He's a little too cocky. He thinks because he's bigger means he can play like a moron. That is not how it works, man. That is not how it works. Size does not matter, as they say, wink, wink. Uh, let's go ahead and charge soul up. Uh, you know what? Let's heal up first. Let's heal up first. We already did what we locked it in. We locked it in. It's too late. He's going to strong attack. We're going to take a big hit to the face. Probably. That's what I'm expecting. He's going to instant heal. Oh, he only charged sold. Good stuff. Good stuff. We didn't waste it. We didn't waste it. So he is healing again. He is healing again. He's going to have his heal over time back on him. So what do we do about it? Honestly, what we do is we drop the evade because there's no way he doesn't drop a big skill on us We're gonna use the fact that we just healed up. We saved him from healing anymore with his lifesteal skill He did not use his leader skill. So we're actually in a great spot out of nowhere Let's go ahead and charge up. We have the energy advantage. He's gonna heal over time. He's gonna charge soul He's playing the sustain game again. We got to play around it better than we did last time, right? We have to we have no choice Let's uh, what do we do about this man? I don't see him evading. I don't see him evading. He was playing way too cocky to drop an evade now. We're going to go ahead and hit him very hard. And now we're going to drop our defend. Mitigate what comes next. He used a strong attack. It actually mitigated what we did. But he still used three energy. And it still wasn't enough damage to warrant it. So we're going to charge soul. He's going to basic attack. Uh, you're about to see why I said not to do it. Because like that's actually going to be the downfall of this match right here. Um, we're going to go ahead and defend up. We're going to defend up. We need to get rid of it is the entire reason because we need to get to our fire claw. We're going to use our fire claw. He's going to basic attack again. We're going to hit him very hard. And suddenly, what's he going to do next, right? What's he going to do next? What we're going to do next is we're going to charge soul while he defends. He definitely should have charged soul. I was not going to hit him with anything. There was no way. So we're going to strong attack. He's going to basic attack. And that's all she wrote. Guys, PSA. Stop using your basic attacks willy-nilly. He could have won that one. I did not play very well in the first 1v1. The the light unit versus his first unit, I played poorly. No excuse for him to come back, or for me to come back after playing poorly in that first round. But I did because he was just using too many basic attacks. I didn't, like, I'm not used to going against sustained teams, but let's open up these eggs like I promised, bro. Uh, we got, uh, we, we got, what is this, a four to five star? 
what do we got bro what do we got okay a four star maybe that was our three to five star i don't know but either way let's just get his skill get that guy here we got a we got two more three to five stars to open up so oh three more total actually so this should be pretty wild let's see if we can get a five star man wouldn't that be dope to end this off another five star two pvp videos in a row getting five stars that would be insanity i don't know if it's gonna happen let's just use our gems man i don't care it's cheap to just insta open it doesn't bother me at all uh we got we're getting three stars man we're getting this is brutal this is brutal this is brutal what's going on what's going on don't do this to me well um draw rates looking a little sus out of nowhere draw rates looking a little sus i got nothing but these one to five stars left that blows i apologize for that one but i promise y'all some egg opening and that's what i brought you it uh it didn't work out that time you know what i'm not gonna hate the draw rates aren't horrible like i literally have two five stars already uh grip of four stars uh you know like like the draw rates aren't bad that was just a bad in general right there but it is what it is i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching if you guys are liking this series go ahead and click that like button if you want to follow the series go ahead and click that subscribe button i've got you covered on one to two videos a day on the best hidden gems on the mobile marketplace that's it for me guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out